By the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve application problems that models quadratic functions. In this example, we will solve an application problem that models quadratic functions, specifically one that models the height of a propelled object as a function of the time elapsed after it is propelled. So a toy rocket is launched from the top of a building 50 feet tall at an initial velocity of 200 feet per second. Give the function that describes the height of the rocket in terms of times. Now, if air resistance is neglected, the projectile height function is as follows. Negative 16 t squared plus the initial velocity plus the initial height. So if we look at the sentence here, we were given uh, an initial height here of 50 feet and an initial velocity of um, 200 feet. So all we need to do is to go ahead and plug that information in. And negative 16 here refers to the uh, gravitational uh, the constant based on the gravitational force of the uh, Earth. And then you have the initial velocity and also the initial height. So plugging those things in uh, the values known, and here you have it, uh, your equation is negative 16 t squared plus 200 t plus 50. So we were not asked to solve here. You're just asked to give uh, the function, and that is your function. Now that we have our projectile function, let's go on to part B, which is to determine the time at which the rocket reaches its maximum height and the maximum height in feet. So in other words, I want to know the time uh, and the height itself, so the time that it reaches it and the height of the maximum. So to find the maximum, recall that in a parabola, if the coefficient of the squared term is a negative, the parabola is going to face downward. And that goes right in line with um, here where you throw this projectile object. Uh, it is a parabola that is uh, opening downward. And so since A is less than zero, it will have a maximum and the maximum will occur at the vertex. So all we need to do is simply just find the vertex. And we can do that by plugging it into the vertex formula. So to define your x value of your vertex, recall that it's minus b over 2a. So if b is 200, the top will be negative 200. The bottom will be 2 times a, and a in this case is negative 16. So 2 times negative 16. That's going to give me up top to negative 200, and on bottom, negative 32. A negative divided by a negative equals a positive. So our x value is 6.25 approximately. Next, we want to find our y value. So all we need to do is take uh, our x value here and plug it back into the function. In other words, evaluate um, here s of 6.25. So remove all the t's and replace them with 6.25 and do the math. So when we do that, it's going to look like so. Simplifying it will give us an answer of 675. So to state our answer, 
after 6.25 seconds, the rocket will reach its maximum height of 675 feet. So recall from previous lectures that the Y value is going to tell you your maximum height. So your maximum height, remember Y is the, the value that uh, the variable that goes up or down. So in this case, because it's a maximum, it's up. So that is why we use 675 as our maximum height and not the 6.25. It is the Y value that determines the maximum. And there you have it. All right, so we're still using the same equation, but we're on part C, which is uh, for what time interval will the rocket be more than 300 feet above ground level? So all we want to know is which point is going to be more than greater than 300 feet. So that's going to be an inequality equation. And all you have to do is take your equation here and set it to where on the other side it is greater than 300. So when you write that, this is what it looks like. You have your equation and you set it to greater than 300. Now all you have to do is just simply solve for your variable. In this case, my variable is t. So to solve for t, the first thing I need to do is to subtract 300 from each side. Now, if this was factorable, you could use the zero factor and solve for t, but this one is not um, factorable. So we need to use the quadratic formula. So recall when you use quadratic formula, you got to determine who's A, who's B, who's C. In this case, A is negative 16, B is 200, and C is negative 250. So, <clears throat> so if we plug those into, excuse me, the quadratic formula, it's going to look like so. So continue to simplify. And what we get are two solutions. And our two solutions is t is 1.4 and t is 11.1. And so to state that the rocket will be more than 300 feet above ground between 1.4 seconds and 11.1 seconds. The last part of this problem, uh, D, after how many seconds uh, will it hit the ground? Now, anytime you're talking about the ground, you're talking about at zero level. So all you need to do in this case is take your equation and set it equal to zero and solve for T, the time. So the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and use the quadratic formula just as we did before. In this case, A is negative 16, B is 200, and C is 50. Same thing. You're going to plug it into the quadratic formula. Simplify your answer. And here we get two solutions. We get that T is negative 0.25 and t is 12.75. So we want to know at what point that it hits ground level. So we need a number. So we're going to throw out the negative because time is never thought of in terms of negatives. Time can only be a positive number. So therefore, after how many seconds will it hit the ground? Well, it'll be approximately 12.75 seconds for the toy rocket to hit the ground. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching MVP Tutorials by your instructor, Dr. Spates. I hope you'll join me in the next lesson. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye for now.